10-year-old Australian Shepherd. Stains, move your nose. Named Stains is uncontrollable in the kitchen. Can Victoria bring these wayward hounds under her spell? Stains, come here. Wow, you Australian shepherds. Yeah. Whoa. So what happens in the kitchen? We cannot leave anything out in the kitchen. If we leave any food out at all, Stains gets it. He, he's a counter surfer. What? And Peanut would get it too, but he's too short. Can I see the, a little bit of this counter surfing then? Last week, I baked cupcakes for my friend's birthday and left them on the counter. And when I came back about an hour later, they were almost all gone. Yeah. To demonstrate, Shelby plants a bit of food on the counter, and they all leave the room. Staines pretends to go along, but then quickly doubles back. Wow. There's a positive side to a dog being food motivated. They can learn really quickly, but there's a negative side. Staines just can't think of anything else except food. And if the dogs aren't stealing food off the counter, they're begging for it at the table. Go down. When we sit down for a meal, Stains will intently stare at you and drool. All this drool comes out of his mouth the whole time we're eating. Let's go on to Stains. He's a huge counter surfer. Of course he's an opportunist. He's fine when you're, when you're there, but when you go, he's going to get that food. Craig and Shelby are newlyweds, and I really want them to be able to enjoy a dinner in their own home in peace. James, let's go. Victoria shows Shelby and Craig how to keep their dogs out of the kitchen during mealtimes. So I want to establish Stains being behind the line. Up, up. And each time he comes in, I'm just going to push him back. Mm -mm. And the same with Peanut. Stay. I'm using my body to stay back. back. Victoria tries several times. Stay. Then she feels it's time to hand over the reins. Craig, take over for a while. I knew at dinner time that Stains would, uh, he'd sit right behind that line, and he'd sit and he'd, go, he'd lie down. I knew Peanut was going to be the issue here. Go. Back. Stay. Ah. Stains. Get back. Peanut. Stains. Down. Peanut. Back. Back. Uh -oh. Peanut. Stay. But persistence pays off. Good boy. Good boy. That's what you want. You want him to suddenly lie down. Good boy. That night, Craig and Shelby attempt the impossible. Sit. A romantic dinner at home. Stay. Come on, Peanut. Out, out. Sit, stay. As long as Peanut is behind the line, he actually doesn't have to be sitting. But as soon as Craig's back is turned, Peanut is uh -huh. over the line. I can do it. Back, 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 <laughs> stay. When Shelby takes a no-nonsense approach, Peanut gets the message. Gosh, they're staying. Great job, guys. This is a real breakthrough. But when left alone in the kitchen during cleanup, Stains is up to his old tricks. I'm going to get back to Craig and Shelby because there's still more work that we can do. Victoria has a plan to tackle Stains' counter surfing. And she's so confident it'll work, she's using the ultimate bait. Cupcakes. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Staines helps himself to any food he can get and recently stole 14 cupcakes from the kitchen counter. Hey, what are you doing there? He has a certain amount of impulse control, but he's not stupid. We go out the room and he's like, oh, you're not there anymore. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take advantage of it, which is why I have this. OK. This is a collar. It's literally just a remote talking collar. I talk into it like a walkie-talkie, and he just hears it around his neck. First, Victoria wants to refresh the away command. Away. Away. I just wanted Staines to, to know that he had to back away from the plate of cupcakes, so 
I held it in front of him, which was so awful and so tempting for the poor dog. But then when he either took his head away or he sat right down, I said, away. Away. So he got to know that the word away meant that he had to back away from them. Then, Victoria attaches the magic collar. I wanted to do this training because I wanted Staines to see that even though nobody's there, he's still being watched. They take up their post on the other side of the house, and then it's all eyes on Staines. Oh, there. I'm gonna get him as soon as I see him. Staines away. Staines away. <laughs> Staines away. Away. Uh -uh. Good boy, Stains. Good boy. We were really proud of Stains for, for walking away yeah. from the cupcakes. I wasn't sure if he was gonna, what he was gonna do, so it was great seeing him do that. You're not gonna be able to sit in front of a monitor forever, but you could do the training, setting it up yourselves and just hiding around the corner. I would recommend Shelby and Craig do the setup maybe once every day, just, just to go through it to reinforce the behavior, but management is key with this. Just, if your dog is a counter surfer, make it, make it easier for them. Don't leave food on the counter. <laughs>